Hello everybody, let's make a quick video here about um, how to get a better sidebar with Chain of Command. And Chain of Command is a, a great little uh, dirt hack package for Sublime that we need to, to create this better sidebar. <clears throat> and this better sidebar, I have it here in Budlime repository in bud labs you can find in packages here i have a little uh, anonymous package called sidebar toggler here <clears throat> it just contains a key map but this key map is a bit special Let, let's copy this and, and add it to our sublime thing here sidebar toggler uh, default Linux dot sublime key map boink because this will not work now. The keys here to toggle the sidebar is Control Alt S, uh, but it uses it have a weird syntax as you can see here. It calls the command chain. And then uh, the argument to that command is uh, a, a, a dictionary here with a list of more commands. Yeah, I know, lots of weird words there, but whatever. If I press Control alt s here now, nothing happens, because we don't have this chain command. That is uh, an external package that you need to install. I have brought up the package control page here. And this, I don't know why they haven't, this isn't built into Sublime. Because a, a, a key binding can only execute one command. But sometimes, for, in, for instance here with the sidebar toggler, I want to first toggle the sidebar, so show it. And then I want to focus the, the currently active file, and then I want to focus the sidebar itself. These are three different commands. You cannot add three commands to a single key binding without then you have to make your own python uh, script for it or, or your own little package for it and that is maybe the recommended way but you know everybody doesn't know python i don't at least i didn't know it at all when i started using this so this is like a, a cheap way to, to to create your own custom um, uh, packages without writing a single line of python you install chain of command here. It's an old package, but it, it works fine. It, it, isn't, uh, it hasn't been updated in five years, but it works fine. So let's install this. Uh, install package chain of command. And there, now it's installed. And now our key bindings here should work. Control Alt S. Yeah, you see, it activated this file also. Control Alt S again. Toggles the sidebar. And this this is so so nice. You can actually do this toggle sidebar. This command you could bind just this to a key binding, but that will not focus the sidebar. It will keep the 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 focus in the document you're in. It's really annoying. So, but with this, it will focus the sidebar. This is how it works. Let, let's break it down. It's not that complicated. First, uh, it looks here, there are two different key bindings, one for hiding and one for showing the sidebar. And it, it knows if it wants to hide or show it by looking at this uh, setting here, sidebar tree. If that is, um, yeah, whatever. It knows if it wants to hide or show depending on the context. And when it wants to show the sidebar, uh, mm, I think it also calls this uh, if uh, uh, even if the sidebar is not active it will also uh, do this but then it will just activate the sidebar instead and reveal in sidebar that's a command that you can use to uh, to open the the current file so for instance we could just take some random file here and then we can close this close it down here and uh, yeah 
if if I execute this uh, uh, toggle sidebar now, it will focus the sidebar, but it will also focus the current file in the sidebar. This is also not on by default in Sublime. Then it will just put the focus here uh, above the tree. But the, this is much more logical in my opinion. And when it hides the sidebar, uh, it it toggles the sidebar, and then it focus group zero, which is. Um, Mm, this document and you see focus sidebar it have its own command here so focus group uh, and then the argument zero and this is another thing when you use this chain of commands you have to write uh, the, the syntax uh, in this way Wh when an argument or a command have arguments normally you write it you add the args command you know uh, or args key to, to the list here but in when the command is inside a chain you don't you write the args you, you write them like this so we could actually also create a scene while we have it here Let, let's do that let's create a snippet for this guy snippet make snippet we call it chain descriptor chain of command binding yeah, sure. Uh, sublime. There. Um, and this is dollar one. Uh, then we can only. Oops, that's only uh, one of these here. A comma there. Dollar two. If we have any arguments, yeah, let's do it like this. Dollar three, and then we have the context here. Dollar four. There. Now we have a snippet for chains. I I recommend you doing this immediately after you install the plugin because you will trust me you will forget how to write these <laughs> commands with arguments every time i have to go into the documentation look at it and scratch my head a bit but with a snippet like this it will be super easy to create more uh, um, chain of commands key bindings so that's what i wanted to show you and this is really good but then we cannot do so much more with the sidebar i, I have really tried to find a way to to change to resize the sidebar with the keyboard but there is no I, I haven't found a way I don't know how to do it but you can do this you can double click this uh, thing here then it will auto size the sidebar to to the length uh, with it needs if you double click here but you cannot do this the, the, this option should be uh, or you should be able to resize it with the keyboard I don't know why whatever chain of command might look like nothing but this is poor man's package uh, <laughs> creation tool you don't have to know python you only need to know this uh, thank you for watching guys <laughs> bye